Elon Musk, the richest entrepreneur on the planet, once said that there are millions of research papers which are published every year, but hardly one or two can be used into transforming into an idea or a company or a product. And many researchers agreed to that point. And today I'm going to tell you exactly how you can avoid wasting your energy on useless paper publication instead focusing on transforming your research into a idea or a company or a commercializable product and earn billions of dollars. Now, one thing you have to be very, very aware of as a human is that you exist in this capitalistic economy where you will need money to survive, right? Because money is social credit, you require that and it doesn't harm having a lot of money. But when it comes to PhD, many researchers complain that we are paid very less and we are uh, somehow managing things and our research also doesn't yield us much of work and then you have to do postdoc. So here is a thing which you all should know. If your PhD work cannot be transformed into a future global company, then probably it can, it, it probably it is a waste of time. I'm not saying 100%, but yeah, probably. But he, here is a thing that most of the things can be commercialized. You can always think about how can I, you know, commercialize my PhD topic into a product or a service or something which will help me make a lot of money in the future. So that's something which you have to be very, very careful about and you have to choose your PhD topics very carefully. Okay. So here are some, here are some pointers on how to pick that. The first thing is, does, is there any company which exists in, in this planet right now, which can buy my research or will there be any company who can buy my research? And the third is, can I start a company out of my research? Okay, so if you if th these of the any of these three answers are yes, then probably you're going in the right direction. But if it is on some PhD topic which cannot be commercialized, which most of them are not cannot be commercialized, that is where problem begins. For example, Jennifer Dodna and her counterpart started two different companies on CRISPR itself because CRISPR was their idea and they commercialized it, right? So when you have a product, when you have a research which can be commercialized, you can make a lot of money. But when you have a product, when you have a research which cannot be commercialized, that is where you will just be another PhD guy. Why do you want to become another PhD guy? Why do you want Dr. XYZ, a PhD, you know, researcher? Instead, you can have a Dr. XYZ, a billionaire or a, you know, trillionaire or a millionaire. So to make that happen, you have to start looking at your PhD from day one or whatever day you are at right now. How can I commercialize my PhD? Okay. So many stu uh, students come to me and say, sir, my uh, particular research is in hardcore, say, um, uh, blood pressure or something like that, which is related to common, you know, people, health issue or something. How can I convert this? I cannot convert this into a, re uh, you know, company. So you have to look at some offshoot of the current product, current research. So whatever research you're doing right now, how can you transform a part of it into a company or an offshoot or a different uh, but similar uh, topic or domain you can, you know, convert into starting a company. So when you do that, your chances of success is higher. And anyways, you have the PhD degree to bank upon and go, for, go back to a job if you fail. But my message to all of you is, you know, keep all your op options open. But in the meanwhile, focus on one option, which is bioentrepreneurship. That's definitely going to help you. When you do PhD, come out and then you start applying for either a professor job or a job in a company. Just think, how did that company was, how was the, that company formed? Somebody did made that, right? Why can't you have that? You can do it yourself. And it is not very risky. It is, it, and I'm not asking you to start a genome editing company tomorrow. I'm asking you to start a basic, simple biotech company. And if you want to know how to do that, just contact me. I'll guide you. Okay. But if you, con you know, convert your research into a commercializable or commercialized product or a company, chances are you can be very rich in the future. So why you want to come out of PhD just as a regular guy? Instead, you come out of your PhD as an entrepreneur, right? Google uh, friends, two friends who are doing research on 
you know net, uh, indexing the web pages created google right that's how you have google and they never stopped innovating that's how google became such a big company so all i am saying is anyways you are innovating in your research why not transform it into a commercialized product so here is a task for all of you if you plan to do research or you are doing already doing research just email me what topic you are doing research okay my email id is shekhar@biotechnica.org email me and i will look at that and see what kind of product you can create out of this and if i get some ideas probably i'll reply to you okay so and drop me an email with what is your research topic and let me see if i can help you there and you can always talk to me we can always start simple biotech companies while you're still in your phd and by the time you can get out of your phd you become dr xyz founder of this company i think that's a great start now personally speaking my personal goal is to start 3000 companies in the next 10 years in india for all of you with the help of all of you so i have always said that uh, i have three approaches one is your idea your investment my uh, mentorship second is your idea your execution my investment the third is my idea your execution and my mentorship and i am available 24/7 to all those subscribers who want to start a biotech company because i know one thing if we want to solve the employability problem if we want to grow biotech sector in india then we youngsters have to start more companies more biotech companies and for that you don't need to start a complicated hardcore biotech company you can start with simple biotech company just like increasing the shelf life of flower just like increasing the shelf life of a fruit it could be anything as simple as that but it's a biotech company you become the founder and slowly on the top of it as you make money you can grow by adding more products as simple as that so why not start a company while you are in your phd commercialize your research and if you are not able to figure out how to do that email me or comment below what kind of questions you have i'll definitely help you out so these are my thoughts today about how to commercialize your phd into your into a company well i have i'm probably you know booming i mean uh, blossoming out with ideas buzzing out with ideas but I need your support I need your help if you guys feel that you can start a company drop an email to me I'll help you out so that's all for now thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one till then take care bye bye